welcome back to another video and welcome to your practice for today. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be guiding you through a vinyasa flow. So we'll, we will be working with movement to breath, really feeling into the breath, really feeling into the body. Um, there's going to be some quite advanced postures in this practice but a world of different options as well. So if the advanced version doesn't feel good for you or it's not quite accessible for you at the moment, just take one of the first options. Um, but yeah, enjoy. When you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. So finding your comfortable seat when you're ready. So you can come to Sukhasana, crossing at the shins, or come to half lotus or full lotus or kneeling, whatever feels good. Just place the hand down onto the knees, palms facing down or up, and just let the arms just fall wherever they fall. Take a deep breath in, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. As you exhale, just allow them to drop down. If you haven't already, start to close down the eyes. And just taking a few moments to centre ourselves here. Feel the sit bones connect to the earth. Feel the spine lengthen, the crown of the head reaching tall. Just checking in with yourself, how you feel physically, emotionally, energetically. And just observing here. Gently starting to bring control to your breath. If you have Ujjayi breath in your practice, then start to engage that now. Really starting to fire up, feel that fire in the belly, feeling that prana, that life force energy as you send it all the way around the body with your breath. And let this breath be part of your meditation. So allow this breath to be your focus, the sound of the breath, the touch of the breath as you move through this flow. With each inhale, breathing in positivity, joy, happiness, love. And as you exhale, just getting rid of anything that doesn't serve you, anything that you don't need. Take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. When you're ready, breathe in top of the head. Part the lips and sigh it out. Bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra. Press the thumbs into the heart space. Anahata Chakra. Setting your intention for this practice, for this day, whatever that might be. Now, 
and then start to rub the palms together. Keeping the eyes closed down. Really find that energy and that friction between the palms. And then gently place the palms over the eyelids. Feel that energy you've created, feel that warmth. Start to blink open the eyes. And then maybe bring the palms to the neck. Give yourself a nice little massage on the neck. The shoulders. And when you are ready, bring the hands to interlace behind the head. Take a deep inhale and open the chest and the elbows back. As you exhale, just lean over to the right. So left elbow up, right elbow down. Keep the chest open. Keep sending the left elbow back, right elbow forward. Ground down through the left sit bone. Inhale through center. Exhale over to the left. Gazing up. One more on each side. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. This time on your inhale, come through center and really shine the heart up to the sky. Gaze up. As you exhale, bring those elbows together. Start to round the spine and bring the chin to the chest. Inhale again to open and extend. Exhale to round the spine, chin to chest, elbows together. One more inhale, open it up. And exhale, round. Feel that stretch in the back of the neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the hands down to the knees. Nice. Bring your legs to cross the other way. And we're just going to take a couple of seated twists. We're going to take a few twists in this flow today. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Bring the palms together, drishti to thumbs. As you exhale, twist to the right. So right hand behind the body, left hand to the right knee. Gaze over the right shoulder and just take it maybe 60% here. You don't want to go straight into a really deep twist. On your next inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, come back through center, drishti to thumbs. Exhale, twist to the left, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. And breathe deep from the belly here. We're massaging those internal organs. Great for the digestive system. Inhale, back through centre, palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, bring the legs out nice and wide. Starting to work a little bit into the hamstrings here. So on your inhale, sweep the right arm up. On your exhale, we're taking a side stretch. So the left hand to the inside of the left leg and stretch. And you should feel this in the backs of the legs, but also all the way down the right side body. And really send that energy through the fingertips. Flex the ankles. So you can be here on the fingertips or down onto the forearm. Inhale as we sweep it up. Exhale, right hand down and sweep that left arm over. Breathe deep. Inhale, come up through centre. So interlock the thumbs. 
and we're going to reach up nice and tall, feel that length from the hips all the way up through the sides of the body, all the way up into the fingertips. Inhale here and exhale as we start to reach forward, extend the spine forward as far as you can. When you feel you can't go any further, you can place the hands down or just keep reaching forward and find your wide leg forward fold. With each inhalation, imagine that length in the spine and as you exhale, maybe finding a little more space to fold into. Two more breaths. On your next inhale, walk the hands up and then bring the soles of the feet together. Find a little Baddha here. So holding the tops of the feet, open out the feet like a book and maybe just flutter the knees up and down, gently easing into the hips. Relax those shoulders. And when you're ready, find a tabletop position. So just making sure everything is nice and stacked here. Shoulders above the elbows and wrists, hips above the knees. Spread the fingers nice and wide. And just take cat cow, just a few rounds. Inhale to drop the navel, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze or open chest. Exhale to round. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back through centre. Nice. Okay, we're coming down to the forearms here. Kind of a little bit of strength now in the shoulders and in the arms. So you're going to come to a plank on the forearms. So step the feet back, tuck the toes. And we're going to take a little bit of a rock forward and back. So as you inhale, shift the weight forward, shoulders shoot forward. Exhale, take it back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Place the knees down to the mat and extend the hands forward. Taking Anahatasana. Extend it. Puppy pose or melting heart posture. So really melt the heart down. You can bring the forehead down to the mat or the chin down. And the hips are above the knees here. As you inhale, slightly draw that navel into spine. Exhale, allow the chest to drop. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, draw the navel in. And exhale. Bring yourself back up to a tabletop position. Spread those fingers nice and wide. And come to your downward facing dog. So tuck the toes. Shoot the hips up and back. Into space. Drishti to the feet the legs or the navel. Really reach the sit bones up to the sky. Press into the index fingers and the thumbs. And just take anything you need here. You can pedal out the feet, take some twists. When you're ready, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees and step to the top of your mat. Find your forward fold here. 
Interlace the hands behind the back. And on your inhale, find a half lift, lengthen the spine. Reach the crown of the head forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, maybe bending into the knees, fold forward. Allow those hands to drop up and over the head. And from here, maybe finding a bend into each knee. So bend the left knee, bring the left shoulder to left knee, straighten the right leg. As you exhale, the other side, so right knee to right shoulder. Inhale over to the left, exhale to the right. One more, inhale, and exhale. Come back through centre, release the hands down, press down into the feet, really root down, bend the knees, and start to roll your way up to standing, the head and the neck come last. Finding Tadasana Mountain Pose at the top of your mat. Okay, Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, sweep the arms up, drishti to thumbs. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fall down, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, extend the spine. Exhale, place the hands down, step back to a high plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward, shoulders over wrists. And exhale, lower the knees, the chest and the chin. Inhale, drop the belly down, peel the chest forward, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, Urdhva Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart centre, mountain pose. Same again, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to a plank. Inhale here. Exhale, come down through knees or your chaturanga. Inhale, straight to your cobra or upward facing dark knees and thighs and lift. Open the chest. Exhale, pank it up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, bend the knees, step or jump the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward, and exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Same again, inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, half, lift, gaze forward. If you'd like to jump straight back to Chaturanga, please do, or just take one of the other options. Inhale to your back bend, exhale, downward facing duck. Staying here for a moment, and breathe. And breathe. From here, sweep the right leg up and back, three leg dog. Keep the hips square and push the right heel away. Now we'll start to open the hip. So roll that right hip open. Send that right foot up as far as you can. Maybe come into the fingertips of the right hand to really open up into the right side body. 
One more breath in. And as you breathe out, plant the hand back down. Bring that knee in towards the chest. Bring the weight forward. Step the right foot between the hand. We're coming to a high lunge, staying on the ball of the back foot. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. As you exhale, cactus the arms, bend deeper into the knees and open that chest. On your inhale, sweep the arms up. Find that lift. Exhale, bend deeper into the knee, open the chest. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring the hands down to the mat. And you're going to really clamp down into this right foot. We're going to find Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. Right hand to the right corner of the mat as you start to pick up that left leg. Roll open the hips and push the back heel away. Either keeping the right, the left hand to the hip or you can sweep the hand up to the sky. Gaze down to the floor or up to that top hand. Option here to take your sugar cane pose to take the bind, left hand to left foot. Really open the chest. One more breath. And when you're ready, bend gently into that right knee and step that left foot back with control. Windmill this left arm past the face. Fine, reverse warrior. So keeping a bend into the front knee and sweep the right arm up. Open the chest. And breathe. One more breath. Coming up through centre, straighten into that front leg and the heel toe the back foot in slightly. Preparing for a trikonasana, triangle pose. So arms out, shoulder height. As you inhale, reach the right fingertips forward as much as you can. Hinge at this front hip. Reach, 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 reach. Send the left hip back, the right fingertips forward. And then finding either the big toe, finding that bind, or just bringing this hand somewhere to the inside of the right leg. If you have a block, you can place the block to the inside of the foot. Push the hips forward. Press down into both feet here. Drishti here traditionally is up to the thumb, the left thumb. But if it feels more comfortable to just keep the neck neutral or down to the floor, then please stay there. One more breath. From here, we're transitioning to Vashistasana side plank. So sweep this left hand past the face and down to the mat. Bend into the front knee and come to the ball of the back foot. Okay, so options here just to step straight back into your version of a side plank. Or if you want to come with me, we're going to keep this bind on the big toe. So when you're ready, really plant down into that left hand. Come to the outer edge of the left foot and lift, lift, lift. So lift that foot up to the sky. Engage Uddiyana Bandha, the core. And open the chest. One more breath. When you're ready, with control, let go of that foot and step the right foot behind you, finding your wild thing. Nice, okay. So from here, you're going to bend the knees and come down to the right shin. It's a bit of a funny transition. So bending 
the right knee as much as you can. Step that foot back and come down to sit on your right heel or just set the bum down to the mat. And we're finding heron pose, crown chasana. So we're either sitting on the heel or bringing the bum down to the inside of the right heel. When you're ready, either taking a strap here and popping it around the foot or just taking hold of the left heel and start to straighten the leg. If the leg is bent like this, that's fine. Just nice open chest and long spine. Or you can start to extend that left foot. Draw that leg in, gaze to the big toe. Try and stay nice and long in the spine. And when you're ready, release the left foot down. Bring the hands forward. We're finding a standing split with the right leg up. So ground into the left foot and sweep the right leg up to the sky. And just take it as deep as you like here. You can bring yourself a little bit deeper by bringing the left hand to the left ankle and draw the body closer to the leg. Either working on your standing split or looking to super soldier. So here, bring that right hand up nice and wide to the outside of your mat. And you're going to bring the left arm to the inside of the left leg. Start to bend that right knee and see if you can find the bind left hand to right foot. And send that right knee up to the sky. Gaze under the right armpit. And breathe. When you're ready, gently release. Bring the hands back to the top of the mat. And we're going to find our revolved half moon. So place the right hand down to the mat or tool block and sweep the left arm up. Push the right heel away. Finding that twist. And when you're ready, bring the hand down to the mat and squeeze the right knee in towards the chest. We're coming to a standing balance, so press down through the left foot, bring that knee in to chest. Finding Paravita Hasta Parangustasana, so a revolved hand to foot, so left hand to the right foot and sweep that right hand behind you, stay nice and tall. If this doesn't feel good for you or it's not quite accessible, just bend that knee and bring the left hand to the right knee. See if you can play around with the gaze, gaze back to the right foot. One more breath. And when you're ready, release back down. So stay with the balance. Bring the hand down to the mat. Step back to a downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa, inhale. Ripple the body forward to a high plank. Exhale, lower down, knee chin chest or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next, still going to go on the other side. When you're ready, inhale, sweep the left leg up and back. Squaring off the hips. And when you're ready, open the hips and roll, in, roll open the left hip. Point the toe if it feels good. Come to the fingertips of the left hand and gaze under the left armpit, really open out. When you're ready, on your exhale, bring that knee into chest and step the left foot forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Find a high lunge, reach up. Exhale, bend deeper into the knee and cactus the arms. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend 
bend deeper and cactus the arms. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale. Nice. From here, inhale, sweep the arms up, palms together. And exhale, hands to heart. Bring the hands down to frame the foot and let's find our half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Left hand comes to the left corner of the mat. Press down through the left foot and sweep the right leg up and back. Open the hip. You can bring the hand to the hip and help that hip to open. The body out towards the side. And you can sweep the right arm up to the sky. Option here to take the bind so you can bend the right knee, take hold of the foot. Push the ankle or the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot. Release the bind if you have it, bending into the left knee and gently placing the right foot down. Find your reverse warrior. Breathing deeply. When you're ready, coming up through centre, straight into the left leg and maybe heel toe the back foot in slightly. So the outer edge of the right foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat and the left toes are pointing forward. Prepare for triangle. So inhale, reach forward as far as you can. And exhale, left hand down, right arm up. And push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Bringing the gaze to wherever feels comfortable. And maybe take some big circles with this right arm past the face. Inhale as we stretch up. Exhale, take that big circle. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Okay, from here, place that right hand down, finding Vashisasana, side plank again. So bending into the left knee, come to the ball of the back foot. And either finding just your normal side plank, whatever that looks like, or coming with me and keeping this bind. So come to the outer edge of the right foot and push the foot away, start to lift. Open out. Breathe deep. When you're ready, gently release the foot. Find your wild thing to so step the left foot over. Open the heart. From here, creep the left toes just as far as you can until you can come down to the shin. Ooh, it's a bit of a messy transition. And then we should be facing the front of the mat now. And then place the bum down onto the mat, the left heel in towards the left hip. If this doesn't feel good, just come here and we can do it that way instead. Finding our crown chest now. When you're ready, so taking the bind with the foot, inhale as we lengthen the leg, or you can keep a bend in the knee, or you can use a strap. Really lengthen the spine, open the chest, point the toes, gaze to the big toe. Nice, and from here, placing the right foot down again, Bring the weight forward, place the hands down, find your standing split. Sweep that left leg up, draw the torso in towards that standing leg. And again, either working on your standing splits or coming to super soldier to bring the left hand out nice and wide. 
See if we can bring the right arm to the inside of the right leg. Bend the left knee and see if you can find the foot. Once you've found the bind, see if you can really open out and lift the knee up to the sky. And gently release. Bring the hands back to frame the foot. And finding our standing balance now. Oh no, sorry. We're coming to revolve half moon. So place the left hand down to the mat or to a block. Push that left heel away. Lift. And sweep the right arm up to the sky. Find the twist. Now from here, squeeze that left knee in towards the chest, maybe bending the right knee, press down into the right foot and lift. So finding our hand to big toe pose, revolved, either finding the right hand to the left knee or to the outside of the left foot and extend the leg out, sweep the left hand behind you. Stay nice and strong and rooted and grounded through this standing foot, the right foot. And then maybe playing with the gaze. To complete that twist. Nice, when you're ready, come back through centre. Bring the hands down to the mat. Step back to plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Place the knees down to the mat. Take a nice shoulder stretch. A child's pose, the last one. Okay, so preparing for our Revolve Bird of Paradise now. So, when you're ready, coming back up to a downward facing dog. We'll start with the left foot first, just so you can see what I'm doing. So inhale, sweep the left leg up and back. And exhale, step the foot forward between the hands and lower the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, we're going to twist to the left. So bring the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Palms together in Anjali Mudra. Gaze over that left shoulder. So you can either just work on this posture. You can tuck the toes and lift the back knee. Coming to your... Paravrita Ajrakanasana, your revolved side angle. If you have a bind here, find your bind. So right arm under that left thigh and then find your left hand behind the back. Open up. We can work on this. You can use a strap. If you're coming with me for your revolved bird of paradise, lift that back knee. Gaze to the front foot. We're going to step this right foot to meet the left and lift the left heel. Press down into the right foot and start to lift nice and slow with control. And then extend that left leg. Try to stay nice and tall. Maybe gaze over the left shoulder. And when you're ready with control, coming back down the way we came in, step the right foot back, lower the back knee, release the bind. Inhale back through centre, exhale, place the hands down and just release out through that left leg and the left hip. Maybe rocking forward and back, maybe coming into a lizard and finding a little bit of movement. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, same on the other side. So when you're ready, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up and back. Exhale, step the foot forward. Lower the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right this time. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee and draw those palms to the centre of the chest. Gaze over the right shoulder. Again, staying here and playing with this posture of finding your bind on this side. So left arm under the right thigh. See if you can find that bind. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. And then if you're coming with me, step the right, left foot forward, sorry, and lift the right heel. It's all very technical. Press down into the left foot, rise up. Extend the right leg. Find that twist, gaze over the right shoulder. One more breath. And when you're ready, slowly with control, coming back the way we came in. Whew. And release off that right leg. However feels good for you, just using your intuition. And when you're ready, back to your child's pose. Take a big shoulder stretch. So when you're ready, snake through onto the belly. <clears throat> I'm going to cross at the elbows. So bring the left arm in front of you, slightly over the left hand over to the right, and then we're going to cross the right over the left. And place the palms down to the floor, and just allow the chin to rest on that top arm, pressing down and feeling a shoulder stretch. side so this time thread the right under the left bring the hands out to the side and place the chin on that left arm feeling a lovely stretch here in the shoulders And gently release. When you're ready, come onto the back. And we'll just take a bridge pose. So bring the feet hip width apart. Really ground down through the feet. Inhale and lift the hips. Feel that nice stretch in the front of the body. Maybe bringing the hands to the lower back if you'd like a bit of a deeper stretch with some support at the same time. Chin to chest. And when you're ready, release down. Bring both legs up to the sky. Find your legs up the wall pose. You can literally put the legs up the wall if you wish. If it's a little bit of a strain on the back, just place the hands under the sacrum. And just allow that 
new, fresh energy just pulsate around your body. Sending the clean blood up to the brain. Two more deep breaths. And finally a happy baby. So bend at the knees, holding on to the outside edges of the feet. Draw those knees in towards the armpits. Take a little rock side to side. Massage that back. Nice, maybe taking Sutta Baddha Konasana, so just bringing those soles of the feet together, but drawing the feet in towards the groins at the same time. And when you're ready, after any final stretches or movements that you need to take, just find your Shavasana, so just lie down on the mat, starfish, yourself down onto the mat and just let go of any control now let go of your ujjayi breath let go of any holding or clenching or tension in the body feel the effects of your practice feel the muscles feeling warm feeling nice and used <laughs> and now just relax those muscles let the fingertips just curl in towards the palms naturally allow the feet to fall out to the sides relax the jaw relax the forehead the shoulders feeling heavy pelvis heavy and just having your own meditation here so maybe you want to bring a picture to your natural breath maybe you imagine a bright white light filling the body with each inhalation leaving the body with each exhalation maybe you just want to work with mindfulness, so feeling each point of contact between the body and the mat. Observing any sounds around you. Observing smells, tastes, touch. Definitely staying here for a good few minutes in your Shavasana, so pop this video on pause. When you are ready, start to find small movements into the fingers and toes. Expanding those movements into wrists, ankles, the neck. Taking a full body stretch if it feels good. Maybe you want to hug the knees in, take a little twist. Keep those eyes closed down and in your own time, find your way back up to a comfortable seated position. Bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra. 
symbolizing that balance in the body, that balance in the mind, balance in our nervous system, left and right side in the body, in the brain, Shiva, Shakti, energy awareness, yin, yang, just feeling centered and balanced. Bring the thumbs to the third eye center, the space between the eyebrows slightly by the head is a sign of gratitude. Be grateful for what your body can do. Be grateful for all those things, big and small, and be grateful for the practice of yoga. Namaste. Thanks for joining me again in this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know how you got on and I'll see you again soon.